Hello everybody and welcome to my Film It Friday. If you want to see what I've been up to for the last few weeks, because it's been a while, then keep on watching. everybody if you are new to this channel if you're watching this on youtube or if you are new to crochet beginners group over on facebook where this video will be posted as well welcome um on a friday we do something called a film it friday where we just show off our crochet makes etc etc my name is alexandra and i started crochet beginners group um a few years ago now it's been a while a real while and we've now got over 116,000 members which is pretty crazy so if you love crochet and you love friendship and community, uh, Crochet Beginners Group is the place for you. So I'm so sorry that I haven't put any videos up or I've not been very active on the group. I've been really, really poorly. So I have a problem with my kidneys. I get reoccurrent pyelonephritis and I haven't had pyelonephritis for ages. But a couple of weeks ago, um, this might be a bit TMI. Um, I was way in Frank blood. So for, if you don't know what, like Frank hematuria, it means like you've got like um, tons of blood. It's basically like we in pure blood. And I went to the GP and he's like, you need to go to hospital now. And it was all a bit of a like drama because they thought I was septic because I had a really high temperature and I was tachycardic and blah, blah, blah. And I ended up in the lovely Bristol Royal Infirmary. <laughs> Which I find really hard being a patient because I'm a nurse myself and I just find it really difficult to switch off being a patient. Um, so that was exciting, being on the respiratory ward with a kidney problem. Um, and I had to have a CT scan and they found all sorts of things like wrong, um, which was a bit horrible. Um, and I had to, so I've been really poorly and they put me on tons of medication which made me really, really sick. Um, and I had to go yesterday to, so Bristol has two hospitals, like two really big hospitals, and one, they each like specialise in something different. So I had to go to Southmead yesterday for a cystoscopy, which is the camera up into my bladder, which was bloody horrible. Um, yeah, so that was really like not good. Um, and they found some stuff in my bladder, so I had to have biopsies, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling, that's why I haven't been on, because I've just been feeling rotten, and the sickness was rotten, and it was just, like, awful, and my mental health was, like, I was really struggling in the last couple of weeks, because I was ill, the weather in the UK has just been absolutely dire, it was just depressing, freezing for June, bucketing it down constantly, it was just, like, really, really rubbish, so... I haven't actually crocheted that much, but I have done <laughs> the jumper. Um, so, oh, excuse me. I was making, um, or have made, a jumper from Inside Crochet Magazine. I can't remember what issue it is. I'll try and put the link down below. It's a Palmer Violet tea. But I bought my yarn, not with this jumper in mind, because I was on holiday in... Orlando and I bought some really nice yarn in Hobby Lobby and I thought it'd be perfect for this jumper it's such a lovely colour but the but I've made this jumper right I've already pulled it out once because it was absolutely humongous and I'm small um and it was huge so I took some stitches out of it anyway <laughs> this jumper is not meant to be because it is humongous like it slips off my shot it is just absolutely massive and it's because I've used the wrong yarn there's nothing wrong with the pattern um it's just the yarn is like a different type of yarn so what you're supposed to use so it's not wearable because it's I mean there's oversized and there's looking like an idiot and this falls into the category of idiot. So I'm going to pull it all back. And I found a really nice um, cardigan pattern from Make and Do Crew. And because I think this is like chunkier, obviously chunkier yarn. So I'm going to make that cardigan. And perhaps I'll insert a photo here somewhere of the cardi that I think this yarn would be more suitable for. So I'm just going to pull it all out, cake the yarn and start again. <laughs> This would be like the third time, but on a different um, design. 
Now, the lovely Megan Clark, who happens to be my second born child, has, is really artistic. This girl is amazing. And we got a Cricut machine and she has designed some crochet stickers, especially for crochet beginners group. So I will link her Etsy shop because she has now got an Etsy shop, but I will show you. She's designed all of these. They're absolutely amazing. So there's an I Love Crochet. They're really small. I will try and put a photo in. Um, crochet hook. Happy crochet. And she's like, I have to put that in because that's what you say. <laughs> CBG, Crochet Beginners Group sticker. She's done all these herself. They're amazing. Um, hook, yarn, yarn. Busy crocheting, a granny square. She's so talented. So she's made all these from scratch. Hashtag crochet tribe. And this one says off the hook. Um, I will link her Etsy shop if you want to purchase some stickers. Um, she does post worldwide. Um, and she's also got some other stickers on there as well i think they're like fruit ones so yeah they're really good for planners for anything you know crochet ish they're really cute and i'm really proud that she's done that so i will link her etsy shop down below so really that is all crochet so i've got something on my table i don't know what it is um yeah it's i haven't because i've been so poorly i haven't been doing any crochet i'm aware i need to do the second part of my I've just seen it over there, my pillow. Let me just grab it a sec, hang on. Watch me knock everything over. So I have a tutorial for this cushion because I had so many compliments and I've just done one part of it, which is the square, um, and I need to do the cherries. So I'm gonna try and get that up at the weekend. It's just, I still feel like awful. Like everything is just ty really tiring. I've never been like this and it's just, a bit soul destroying you know when like you just like go upstairs for a wee and like you need a three hour sleep um yeah it's all been a bit like that at the moment and I haven't been feeling feeling like that amazing in myself and I'm quite open about mental health stuff I think we should talk about it and I've just been feeling I've been really really struggling because I've just felt so awful and like I said the weather's been awful um but I'll tell you what <laughs> I have lost so much weight because of being ill. So there is like a, like a silver lining to that cloud. Um, yeah, so it's all just been like really, really stressful. And I'm on placement as well with the veteran service in the Southwest, which I love. And my mentor, he is just amazing. And everyone sees us together. He's a lot older than me, he's a lot older. He's like late fifties and they're everyone at work because it's quite a small team because we cover the whole of the southwest and everyone's like oh my god you two are like you know when you see on police like films and it's like their partner is like their closest friend it's like turned into a bit like that he's like the lacy to my cagney kind of thing he's really funny and um he's been absolutely amazing while i've been ill so thank you ian you are just a gem he's just been messaging me constantly um checking up on me, ringing me. And he's like, no, don't come in, stay at home, work from home. He's just been absolutely amazing. Like yesterday I had a hospital appointment. He's like, do you need me to go with you? And it's like, no, it's fine. He's just like been so nice that it made me cry. Like, you know, when you're feeling a bit low and you need a bit of, yeah, he's my work dad. <laughs> he's just really, really funny. So I've been doing that. I'm fingers crossed they've offered me a band for um peer support worker job because obviously i'm on placement and i finish in july and they really like me so um fingers crossed i'll be staying on to do some stuff so i run a um because they have an occupational therapist so i run a, an allotment group which is fun <laughs> when it's raining um but yeah it's really good and it's just really nice it's a nice atmosphere, so fingers crossed I can have that band for peer support worker post, which will be amazing. 
Um, so yeah, sorry for the like hardly any crochet and a bit of a miserable video, but that is me. Go and check out Megan's shop, Etsy shop. I need to do a book list for our book club. If you're not a member of our book club, check it out. I'll leave the link below, Crochet Beginners Book Club, for a July um, read-along list. Yeah, that's about it. So thank you to everybody. Really, honestly, thank you so much. Sounds a bit like an Oscar speech, but to everyone that's messaged me on Instagram, Facebook, just everyone has just been so amazing while I've been really, really ill and I've felt really loved and supported. And yeah, it is a tough time, but with, I think, a positive attitude, I'm going to keep smiling and everyone has really, really helped me get through it. So I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank you because it's been a bit tough. So yeah, that is it. Enough of my ramblings and Oscar speeches. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. As the sun is actually shining, I think it's supposed to be nice all weekend. I will leave the link to Megan's Etsy shop in the description box down below. And take care and happy crochet. Lots of love. Bye.